Good day everyone! So for today, we are going to discuss our lesson 1 about art concepts on our subject course, Art Appreciation. Okay, so this is our lesson 1. So, at every turn, we are surrounded by different forms of art. So, in our society, so we do have different images from our billboards. There are paintings, sculptures, drawings, uh, prints, cartoons, posters, and even photographs or a uh, family picture in your uh, living room or in your uh, room. And of course, we do have different films and uh, computer graphics. So, masasabi talaga natin that we are really surrounded by Art. So, understanding art has to do with the reading the visual work as a representation of the world and as an artistic construct and signifying practice conveying a conflict of our ideas, our feelings, our values, attitude, and emotions. So, depending on the atmosphere that we derive from our views and uh, ideologies. So, since art is a vital part of our lives, so it is important for us to what? To know and understand it better. So, sabi, there is a no one uh, universal definition of art. Although, most of the uh, people who studied about uh, art, they have this consensus that Art is a conscious creation of something beautiful or meaningful using skill and imagination. So, it's something meaningful. Kasi, whenever we do our painting, whenever we do our sculpture, so we use our basic skills, especially our drawing skills. And aside from that, uh, the skill of our senses, di ba, naka-heighten din during uh, the that that time that we are creating our artwork and aside from just that of course our imagination so most of the paintings and the sculptures that we are seeing today are the product of our imagination so etymologically speaking art is related to the latin word art so which means skill or craft so meaning to say ah dun pa lang sa definition ng art makikita na natin talaga na it is an application of our skill and aside from that it is something that we created or there's an output after uh, the creation of the art. So, the first known use of the word is during the 13th century on a manuscript. Next, so the definition of art has fallen into three categories. So, art as a representation, art as a... Art as a expression of our emotional content and lastly art as a form so art as a representation or mimesis so the idea or the the idea of using mimesis was developed by plato in greek meaning copying or imitation so the primary meaning of art during that time for centuries is defined as what that art is a representation or replication of something that is beautiful or meaningful so totoo naman talaga diba that during the time of plato so yung mga artists natin the subject ng kinukuha na nila or ginagawa nila ng art is say for example the nature replication of our nature or replication of a beautiful lady or say for example a representation of our surrounding or our environment so that is art as a representation so there are also artists during uh, that time especially during the 18th century that a work of art was valued on the basis of how faithfully it is replicated its subject so this definition of good art has a profound impact on the modern and contemporary artist so sabi ni Gordon Graham so it leads people to place a high value on a very life like portraits such as those by the great art uh, great art such as Michelangelo and uh, so on. Okay, next. So, art is an expression of our emotional content. So, expression become important during the romantic movement. So, meaning to say that art is what? This is the outcome of our feelings, our attitude, and our imagination. So, Ogen's response was important for artwork, was intended to what? To evoke an emotional response. So, di ba sometimes when we do our painting, when we do our sculpture, so, nalilipat kung ano yung feelings or kung ano yung imagination na ipinapakita natin, uh, na, na nasa sa loob natin. So, kaya nga sinasabi natin that art is an expression of our what? Of our own emotion. Emotional content. Or say, for example, you are going to make unspoken poetry. 
ba? Diba? So, bakit nakakasulat yung mga artists natin ng mga songs uh, regarding heartbreaks? Or bakit nakakagawa tayo ng mga films which is uh, about the feelings of a certain people or an experience of someone? So, it's because an art is an expression of our emotional content. And next, so art is also considered as a form. So sabi ni Immanuel Kant, influential tourist during the 18th century, he believed that art should be judged only on its formal qualities because the content of the work of art is not of aesthetic interest. So formal qualities become important when art become more abstract in the 20th century and the principles of art and design were used. So bakit sinasabing art is a form? Kasi we are going to snow ano ba yung mga ano ba yung mga elements of art say for example the balance the rhythm the harmony and the unity so we're used to define and to assess art so art as a form so makikita natin dito ano yung mga formal qualities ng ating arts ano so in a more abstract form next so there are varied definitions of some uh, artists or some people who give a definition or comments about art so may nagsasabi that Say for example, number one, Rene Magretti, art evokes the mystery without the world would not exist. Diba? Kung sabi niya, art evokes the mystery. So, which the world would not exist. So, it's true naman, sometimes we are creating arts or pieces of artworks na ano, na hindi, na hindi siya nag-i-exist dito sa mundo. And sometimes it's uh, whenever uh, certain uh, people view that certain art, di ba, parang nakikita natin, it's not the reality. So, it's a product of imagination it's, and it's become mysterious on our part. So, art is also a discovery and a development of elementary principles of nature. So, that is true. So, sabi ko nga kanina, most na nagiging subject ng ating mga artists about art is what? Uh, about the surroundings, di ba? So, that is the discovery and development of our principles of nature. And next, sabi ni Thomas Merton, art enable us to find ourselves and lose ourselves at the same time. So, sometimes, di ba, kapag gumagawa tayo si, for example, ng songs or sumusulat tayo ng isang, uh, si, uh, isang series or ng isang uh, kwento, di ba, sometimes nakakalimutan natin kung sino talaga tayo. So, sometimes, we lost because of art. So, the purpose of art daw is washing the dust of daily life of, of our souls according to Pablo Picasso. And Lucio Seneca said that art is but imitation of nature. O, di ba yan? Next. So, according to Edgar Degas, art is not what you see but what you make others see. So, di ba, sometimes kapag gumagawa tayo ng mga art, Uh, artworks natin. So, we do have our different perspectives. Say, for example, iba yung pagtingin ko sa Mona Lisa painting, iba din yung point of view nyo kapag kayo klase ay tumingin doon sa uh, painting na iyon. So, we do have different opinion and perspective for a certain art. And that it's make yung sinasabi ni Edgar Degas na what I see is not what you really see on a certain piece of artwork. Another, sabi ni Jean Sibelius, ito maganda. Sabi niya, art is the signature of civilizations. ba? Diba? So, bakit? Most of our uh, ancestors, uh, the product of their cultural humanity is what? Is evident on the uh, on their artwork. Say, for example, ba? Diba? Yung mga manunggol jars, yung mga art uh, works nila or art... Uh, Uh, na nakita on the, the caves during the early, uh, earliest civilizations. Say, for example, how about the cuneiform that was uh, invented during the Mesopotamian uh, civilization? So, those are all products or a signature of a certain civilization. And or during that time is also a part of what? Of their uh, living and of their society. Next, so according to Leo Tolstoy, art is a human activity consisting in this that one man consciously by main of certain external signs has on to other feeling he has lived through and that others are infected by these feelings and also experience them. Oh, so, ibig sabihin, art is everywhere. Art is a part of human activity. So, yun nga, every civilization, every society, laging ano, ang evidence of their cultural uh, humanity aspect is what? That there is an artwork na nalilikha sila, ano, sagada civilization or sagada society na meron tayo. 
Next, art is the concrete representation of our most subtle feelings. So, it is also related dun sa sinasabi natin that art is a product of what? Of our emotional content, of our attitude, our feelings, and even our imagination. So, next, art is the elimination of the unnecessary, sabi ni Pablo Picasso. Same with Laurie Anderson, sabi niya, art without emotion is like chocolate cake without sugar. May dinagdag pa si Pryder's Nietzsche, sabi niya, art is the proper task of life. Next, so sabi ni Vincent Van Gogh, art is to console those who are broken by life. O diba sabi natin uh, na art is a therapeutic one. Or it is a thing wherein our stress can be relieved. So, ganun din yung sinasabi ni Vincent Van Gogh that sometimes art could could what could help us to cope as on our stress. Could help us to make uh, our uh, life be more light and be more beautiful. So, according naman kay Rainbow Rowell, sabi niya, art wasn't supposed to look nice. It was supposed to make you feel something. So, medyo ano to? medyo imaginative yung idea ni Rainbow Rowell about art. So, it's not just a seeing a piece of art. So, sabi niya, it should what? It should make you feel something on that artwork. Next, sabi ni Twayla Tarp, art is the only way to run away without leaving home. home. Next, Art is a way of recognizing oneself, according to Louis Borges. And it's true, kasi ang mga artist, iba-iba yan ang ginagamit na colors, iba-iba na ginagamit na themes, iba-iba si sila ang ginagamit na uh, subject of their artwork. So, by seeing simply an artwork, so it's really a reflection of what? Reflection ng ating mga artist, ng mga ating mga... Uh, ng mga gumagawa ng tula. So, your artwork is a mirror of yourself. So, kapag gumawa ka ng isang artwork, it's a reflection of yourself. So, art also help us identify with one another. Sabi ni Olafor Ilyason. And lastly, according to Oscar Wilde, art is the most intense mode of individualism that the world has known. Okay. So, that is our topic for today. So, it's about... Uh, the definition of art. How about you, class? What is your own personal definition of arts? Thank you.